Struggling with dark spots or acne marks? Let's talk about thiamidol, the new buzzword in skincare. What is it? How does it work? And is it worth the hype? In this video, I'll break it all down. We'll cover how thiamidol targets pigmentation, why it's safer than older treatments, and how to use it for the best results. Plus, quick tips on what to pair it with and what to avoid. Ready to clear up the confusion? Let's dive in. Let's start with the question everyone's asking. What exactly is thiamidol? It sounds like something out of a chemistry textbook, right? Well, that's because it is. Thiamidol, or isobutylamidothiazolol resorcinol, is a molecule designed to target one of the most common skin concerns out there, hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation, in case you didn't know, is when your skin starts producing too much melanin in certain areas, leading to dark spots, melasma, or those stubborn marks left behind after acne. Thiamidol is a breakthrough ingredient in the fight against these issues because it's a tyrosinase inhibitor. But what does that mean and why should you care? Let's get a little nerdy and dive into the science of how this molecule works. To understand thiamidol, we first need to talk about melanin. Melanin is the pigment responsible for the color of your skin, hair, and eyes. It's produced by special cells called melanocytes, and the process of making melanin is called melanogenesis. Here's where it gets interesting. The production of melanin depends on an enzyme called tyrosinase. Think of tyrosinase as the chef in your skin's melanin kitchen. It takes an amino acid called L-tyrosine and turns it into L-dopa, which eventually gets converted into melanin. Without tyrosinase, melanin can't be made. And this is where thiamidol shines. Thiamidol is like a clever saboteur. It sneaks into the tyrosinase enzyme's active site and blocks it from doing its job. It binds to the copper ions in the enzyme, which are essential for its activity. As a result, the entire melanin production process is disrupted. No tyrosinase activity means less melanin, which means lighter, more even-toned skin over time. And here's the cool part. Thiamidol is incredibly selective. It targets human tyrosinase specifically, so it doesn't mess with other enzymes in your body. That's why it has fewer side effects compared to older skin lightening agents like hydroquinone. Pretty amazing, right? Okay, so we know how it works, but why is thiamidol being called a game changer in skincare? For one, it's effective but gentle. Older depigmenting agents, like hydroquinone, were powerful but came with a laundry list of side effects, skin irritation, redness, and even a risk of ochronosis, a condition where the skin darkens instead of lightens. Thiamidol, on the other hand, is much safer. It's like the skincare equivalent of upgrading from a sledgehammer to a precision tool. Plus, studies have shown that thiamidol delivers visible results in as little as four weeks. It's not a quick fix. It works gradually, but the results are worth the wait. It's also versatile, showing effectiveness on conditions like melasma, dark spots, and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, or PIH. All right, before we dive into the limitations of thiamidol and how to use it like a total pro, let's take a quick breather. Are you finding this deep dive into skincare science as fascinating as I am? If yes, this is your moment to hit that like button and subscribe for more fact pack. Myth-busting content like this. Trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next. It's all about making sure you use thiamidol effectively and avoid common pitfalls. So, show some love, and let's keep this skincare journey rolling. Now, before we all rush to buy every thiamidol product on the market, let's talk about the limitations. Because yes, even this wonder ingredient has its challenges. First off, stability. Thiamidol is sensitive to UV light and high temperatures, so it needs to be formulated carefully and stored properly. This is why you'll often find it in opaque or airless packaging. Secondly, while it works well on melanin-related pigmentation, it's not a magic wand for every type of discoloration. For example, pigmentation caused by vascular issues or scarring won't be improved by thiamidol. And let's be real to patience is key. Thiamidol isn't going to erase your dark spots overnight. It takes weeks, sometimes months, of consistent use to see significant results. So if you're someone who expects instant gratification, you might find it frustrating. How do you use thiamidol effectively? Here's a pro tip. Always pair thiamidol with sunscreen. Why? 
because UV light is one of the biggest triggers of melanin production. If you're using diamidol to lighten pigmentation, but skipping SPF, you're basically taking one step forward and two steps back. Another great tip is to introduce thiamidol slowly into your routine, especially if you have sensitive skin. Start with once a day, then gradually increase to twice a day if your skin tolerates it well. What pairs well with thiamidol? Now let's talk about what ingredients work beautifully with thiamidol to enhance its effects. Niacinamide is a superstar here. Not only does it support your skin barrier, but it also has brightening properties of its own. Together, they make an amazing duo. Vitamin C is another great companion. While thiamidol stops melanin production, vitamin C acts as an antioxidant to protect your skin from free radicals and brighten your overall complexion. And don't forget hyaluronic acid. It keeps your skin hydrated and happy, reducing any potential irritation from active ingredients. What should you avoid with thiamidol? On the flip side, there are a few things you should steer clear of. For example, benzoyl peroxide can oxidize and destabilize thiamidol, making it less effective. Strong retinoids can also oversensitize your skin when used alongside thiamidol, so it's best to alternate their usage. And harsh alcohol-based toners? Hard pass. They'll dry out your skin and make it more prone to irritation. Who should use thiamidol? If you have dark spots, melasma, or post-acne marks, thiamidol might just be your new best friend. It's suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin, as long as you use it correctly. However, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, always consult your doctor before introducing any active ingredients into your routine. Fun facts about thiamidol. Did you know that thiamidol is one of the only tyrosinase inhibitors specifically designed for human skin? Most other inhibitors, like kojic acid or arbutin, aren't as selective and can have off-target effects. Another cool fact, Thiamidol is not phototoxic. Unlike some brightening agents, it doesn't increase your skin's sensitivity to the sun. Of course, you should still wear sunscreen, but it's nice to know that thiamidol itself won't make you more vulnerable to UV damage. Let's bust some myths. If a product claims that thiamidol delivers instant results, don't fall for it. That's just not how it works. It's a gradual process and patience is your best friend. Another common lie? That thiamidol whitens skin. It doesn't. It simply reduces excess pigmentation, bringing your skin back to its natural tone. So that's everything you need to know about thiamidol, what it is, how it works, and how to use it like a pro. If you're battling pigmentation or just want to even out your skin tone, thiamidol might be the game changer you've been waiting for. But remember, skincare is a journey, not a sprint. Be consistent, protect your skin with SPF, and let science do the rest. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. Let's keep this skincare science conversation going.